In part one of this problem, we are asked to find the range, variance, and standard deviation of the starting salaries for seven states. The starting salaries are in this first column. So what we'll do is type these values into our TI-83 or 84 calculator. We'll do that by pushing STAT, and then at EDIT, we'll push 1, and then type the values in, which I've already done. Now to find those values, we'll click STAT and then go over to calc. One variable statistics is number one. We want to make sure that the list is specified that we type the values in. Leave the frequency list just blank and then go down and hit calculate. And we're going to get these values. You'll see that the first value is the mean 31643.3 if we round to one decimal place which would be appropriate since the data values have a measurement precision of whole numbers. Now the range we would find by subtracting the minimum value from the maximum value. The standard deviation is given to us. It is 3027.6 if we round to one more decimal place than occurs in the raw data. The raw data values have whole number measurement precision so our standard deviation should be rounded to the tenths place. So it should be 3027.6, which we see here. Now the question becomes, how do we find the variance? Now the standard deviation is the square root of the variance, so the variance should be the square of the standard deviation. But recall that the general rounding rule is that you should not round at all until the final calculation has been made. So if we just square 3027.6, we're not going to get the right answer. We have to square the whole amount. So in other words, we'll have to square 3027.637787 if we're going to get the correct variance. So we'll hit 3027 .637 and we'll square that. And that'll give us 9166590.6 if we round to one more decimal place than occurs in the raw data. We get this value here, 9166590.6. But if you only square the 3027.6, then you're not going to get the correct value all the way out to the tenths place.